ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to be discussing the once forgotten multi-billion dollar mega project resort located in Winchester, Nevada, the Fountain Blue Las Vegas, the official title. Its name did change in 2017, but it reverted back to the Fountain Blue Las Vegas, originally pitched back in 2007 as an all-in-one Las Vegas experience. You weren't even going to have to leave your hotel room, and it did finally open over a decade after construction began officially opening in December of 2023, a time frame of 16 years it was under construction and the actual bigger building was under construction for about 15 years. It sat for well over a decade as a total concrete skeleton with only the exterior windows complete. What went wrong for this Las Vegas mega project? Let's go back to the mid 2000s. The groundbreaking officially happened in February of 07 and the expected total cost was right under $3 billion. Now, originally, everything was moving along in 2007 and 2008. The bigger, almost mini skyscraper hotel had glass paneling. The installation was happening. The top of the hotel was completed in late 2008, but an unfortunate financial situation in 2009 severely hampered this project, and it sat abandoned. Facing numerous problems, Fountain Blue filed for bankruptcy in June of 2009 with the structure still standing half-built. The hotel at this point, the exterior had been fully completed, but the interior wasn't even close to being done. They actually had to change the design of the hotel and the casino several different times, which apparently is commonplace in Las Vegas. After Fountain Blue filed for bankruptcy, there were plenty of potential bidders, and this unfinished project got so bad and ugly to look at that in 2014, five years after its original abandonment, they dismembered a massive crane that was part of the construction of the overall resort. Just think about that for a second. A crane, which was there for five years doing nothing, gets dismantled because people got so tired of looking at it, and it reminded people of the economic crisis that happened in 2008. You can see parts of the construction completely exposed directly next to a main road, and that was like that for several years as the massive multi-billion dollar resort stood half-built. The Fountain Blue went through a rebranding in 2017. The name of it was changed to the Drew Las Vegas after investment firms purchased the resort for around $600 million. However, that name did not stand and Fountain Blue bought the project back with plans to restart construction in late 2021 and the total project ended up costing $3.7 billion. It is right now the second most expensive resort in Las Vegas. One of the more unique things about the Fountain Blue is the exquisite lobby of their hotel, along with just how tall the mini skyscraper hotel is in general. Also, you do have the casino attached right to it aiding to the whole idea of it being an all-inclusive, all-in-one, you're never going to have to leave the Fountain Blue Resort to experience Las Vegas. Now, this project is very similar to the massive abandoned hotel in North Korea that originally wasn't even finished, and then they decided to finish the exterior of it while the interior was mainly incomplete. Very similar to the Fountain Blue with them finishing the exterior glass in 2009, but the interior being virtually untouched, and the resort overall receiving no guests for 16 years despite billions of dollars being invested into it. However, I guess you could say it does have a happy ending with Fountain Blue after declaring for bankruptcy all the way back in 2009, rebuying the resort and opening it in late 2023, and it has been open for about four months now. And again, it is a very expensive resort, the second most expensive resort in Las Vegas. I thought this was a pretty funny post on Reddit. Any information on what this building is? When I visited, I wanted to know. You can see the fountain blue. The, the top of the roof isn't even done there in that image off of Google Earth. I believe that post was uh, done 
in 2016 so at that point it had already been sitting for a very long time but that is just the story on the fountain blue resort the ghost resort in las vegas with billions of dollars invested into it you can see a very interesting design with the massive hotel kind of in the middle of everything kind of an open multi-pool area lounge type deal with bars and then you do also have the lower casino connected to the entire thing I also wanted to go and find some rare interior photos of the Fountain Blue Resort during its state of abandonment where it was half complete. And these were some of the photos that I was able to find from the years like 2013 through 2020. Remember the construction restarted in 2021 and was completed in 2023. Pretty remarkable opening in the fall of 2009, Fountain Blue. And you can see it in the background kind of ominous there with limited lighting on the interior up against the black night. There's an interior shot. I don't know if that's a lobby, maybe the casino area. That's an interesting little model, little scale model. That's a shot from inside of it, probably one of the upper hotel rooms during a state of abandonment, probably around 2015, 2016. There's just exterior photos, a lot of exterior photos of it under construction. It's crazy. It's right next to a main road, and it was like that for almost a decade. People got so tired of looking at it. There's an interesting design. Remember, they've changed the design of this resort, the interior, like, pool area and also the casino multiple different times so i believe this was a different design it's kind of got some weird circle going around it and then the pool beneath it in a very strange shape but cool nonetheless <laughs> just a random photo there and then just some more photos of it in a state of total abandonment there's a nice aerial view looking into it after they had planted some trees what a beautiful interior. The lighting on the interior of this resort is amazing. Look at that. That was like around 2018, 2019. The pool, it looks like there's some type of covering on the side of the pool that wasn't even taken off. And, and of course, the fountains don't have any water or anything. And there's the interior in 2019. At this point, completely abandoned for basically a decade. Pretty remarkable. And because it has been open now for a few months, I wanted to see a review on it. And this dude reviewed it, giving it a perfect five stars. I mean, look, it's an extremely luxurious resort. The chandelier is just ridiculous and it is very exquisite. So that is the story of the Fountain Blue Las Vegas originally breaking ground in 2007, being delayed in 09 due to the financial crisis of 2008, and finally restarting construction in 2021, fully opening right before the start of 2024 as one of the most luxurious resorts 